season, where should we expect our hope to be around here? To be better than this season. <laughs> that wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> you said that. You said that, no, but look, you, you want any good club. You need... I don't believe in you, by the way. I'm just saying, no, no, I'm, you know. I'm, I'm talking as a fan. But it's not you, I mean, no, I'm we've not, had to no, I'm, oh, yeah, we're getting promoted. Woo, come on, let's all chip. No, it's not, it's not, it's not that. Any good club, you look at Brighton. You need a steady progression. As a club, we, we can't be, we've been a roller coaster club for years. And like, if it doesn't go well, do you want to sack the manager? Look at Ollie when he was here as manager. Did he start really well? Mm. Jerry Francis, when he was here as manager, did he start really well? No, he didn't. He got given time and you need to bring your own players in. Like, if it doesn't start well, I'll sack and get another one in. And you're back to the drawing board. It's the same again. But as a, as a club, you need steady progression. And this, if you progress every season, you'll end up in the Premier League. That's the fact. But the thing is, I don't think we'll you guys, it's not your fault in all fairness, is that we've had the seasons in the Premiership where we lost too many games, our home record in the last four or five years hasn't been great, so I think fans have got defeat fatigue badly. So that's why when Holloway talks about having a cave and everything else, it's so important to start winning home games and, and be the force we used to be. Because let's face it, teams used to hate coming to Lotto Road because you're so close to the players, you can give them so much chip. Forget, forget the last month of the season, our home record was really good. We, we, we come in, we were in four out of five before that last half of the season, before we were having to start patching the team up. And anyone that comes to Gossels Road, when we were here, the big thing, we wanted to create that atmosphere at home. And we wanted, that I was here before with my family as well. They couldn't be asked coming to games. They bought season tickets, they couldn't be asked. It was like, it was like a chore for them. But anyone that comes to Gossels Road, we, we've been clapped off three times at home by losing. And that's very rare for at QBR, but they could see we want a team with passion and effort at home. And anyone that's come, whether whatever the result, you can see that's happened. And I think it has been improvement in the squad. Now we've got to turn that passion and effort at home to not let in the first goal because it absolutely kills you. But if we all we, we want a team that's going to run and work hard for each other and know what it means to play for QPR. And at home, as you said, if, if you're going to do well, you need a good home record. And we need to make Boston throw like they're going back our cages. We need to make Boston throw the fortress. And then, uh, the good teams that we played in, teams didn't really like coming to Boston throw. And we need to make it our style. And we need to make it our. And, and the fans play a big part in that. And it's a bit like the chicken and the egg. Do the team need to set the fans off to get them going? Or do the fans get going? You look at the Fulham game at home. We drew one all. But the atmosphere of the game, the fans were up for it from the first whistle. And the players fed off it. And, and the players have fed off it at the time that we've been in, how good the atmosphere was at Loftus Road. And they knew they could, they could go a goal down, or they could be losing, and they'd be with them. And that probably worked before. So the fans, it's a cliche, have a big part to play. And they have done. And we can thank them for, like, we've not won games, but you was a Villa Park. We, We've got Aston Villa who spent 85 million in the transfer market and played them off the park and the fans were there and they clapped us off. And they have got a big part of play and hopefully at next year you'll be re the rewards for what's happened this year. Mark, you mentioned that uh, in the transfer window, you know, you have to like sign six players for example and like maybe 60, 70 percent of them will turn out well somewhere. Do you envisage that some of the players you bought in the last window that may not have impressed Anthony in the song? Yeah, look. I'm not going to dress it up. You, there's always, at every club, you've got players that want to play in the Premier League. And if we're not in the Premier League, they're not fans like me and Kevin who want to stay at QPR because they love QPR. Sorry to break it, that's a myth. Players don't love your club because it's not their club. It's a job. And if they can get more money somewhere else and play at a higher level, they're going to want to go there and their heads are going to get turned. I'm not saying that's our players, but that's like at any football club. You need so, that. Talking about winning games at home, at any football club, you need um, you need a certain personality to play in front of your home fans. That's where the pressure is. Away from home, there's only 1,000, 1,500 there. But at home, there's 12,000, 13,000. There's pressure there. And you have to have some a sort of mentality to win games at home. And that's at any club. That's where your bread and butter is at home, because that's where your, your fans are. And there's more pressure playing at home than away from home. But when we come in, by a mile. Yeah, when, when we come in, the players thought our fans were harsh. <clears throat> and it was hard to play in front of them. When was this? 
like when we come in, when we come in in November, right. the feedback from the players is that at home it's a really hard place to play because the fans are really critical and they're not behind you and they're waiting to be entertained. And you ask them now, it's completely different because the atmosphere, forget the last month of the year because people ain't happy losing, but in our time there, it was it was a really positive place and that's our big old, like, I played at Millwall. If we're not winning by half time, we're getting booed off and they're calling everyone in our families like disgraceful names. That's a harsh crowd. Mm-hmm. At QPR, they might have a moan and groan if you keep it off the pitch, but then it's their right to do. But the feeling of the players was that it's a really critical place to play by the fans of the Australia. And we've sort of changed that because you look at our home team and the games that we won, and even against the big teams, we've gave them really good games at home. And the games that we lost at home, especially like. We've lost at Derby, Aston Villa, Sheffield Wednesday, Brighton, and Huddersfield at home. And they got clapped off the pitch, and the players couldn't believe it. But they gave it their full effort, and they should have got more out of the game, and the fans knew. We've got to turn them performances into results this year. We're not silly, the players are not silly, we know that. But the fans have got a massive part to play of, of the attitude at Lost Road. I was going to bring Kevin in here, uh, because you've, you've kind of got. I don't know, foot in both camps, if that's the right analogy. There's your, your good mate who's assistant manager at the club at the moment, but you're also a fan and ex-player as well. What's your views on where we are at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Kevin. Yeah. 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 Well, I've, I've, I've been to a lot of home games this season. I've been to a few aways, but they ain't going to hide. The facts are there. We've been poor. There's no doubt about it. I've seen... I think I was, here, I was here last year and I said a lot of the signings have been poor. There was a lad here, I had a bit of an argument with him and he said, no, the signings are great. I said, no, they're not. They haven't been great. And they haven't been great for the last four or five years. At the end of the day, you sign poor players, you get poor results. You can dress it up as you want, as we want, everything. The results are there to speak for. We've stayed up by two points. The season hasn't been good enough. I think everyone can agree with that. That's, I'm not lying. That's it. You can see, I can feel the frustration. I can see the frustration in everyone's faces. It's, it hasn't been good enough. I've been in teams where it hasn't been good enough. You take it on the chin. I've been in teams where it's been good enough. And it's happy days, but this season hasn't been good enough. I mean, uh, am I lying? No, it's, 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 I'm, not lying. I'm not lying. You can all... It's sad to say, but it hasn't been good enough. So, Mark, what can we expect next year? Carl <laughs> 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 uh, Burt! No, no, you can expect... You can expect a team to give 100%, play with passion, and try and win every game. And hopefully be in every game. And that, you, can't, uh, you can't affect results a lot of the time, because... I don't even get started in the refs, but uh, <laughs> you can't. You can't. Really, all, you, all you can do is get a team that wants to work hard, give 100% pride and passion. Forget, forget that last game against Norwich because it was a disgrace. And I think a lot of the players got a lot of answers for. They thought they'd done the job by staying in the league, but <coughs> it's a cute yard game. There's 2,000 fans paid to go to Norwich. You can't be pulling out of headers and tackles. It's just not on. And it, we, we told them after the game, and that's been disgrace. <laughs> favourite moments um, when you were at the club as a player was your um, goal at Brentford right at the end. Uh, um, <laughs> um, what do you remember from that? Uh, was it a good night after that? Yeah, uh, do you know what I remember about it? I remember the ball going out and the QB off man throwing it back in giving it a try and winning. His wings would have been out the playoff. And then we took the corner, I think Gino missed it the corner. He come to his end and someone got flicked on it and I ate it and went in the top corner. Just remember the fans going mad, and luckily, like Cat, Gary Doyle, I used to wear a, a vest underneath the old Guinness top with John Byrne 10 on it. The first time I scored against Bradford, he printed my name. <laughs> so, I took, so I thought it was John Byrne and running out points with it, and it was just a birch mate on it. What, what a belly. <laughs> but yeah, I just remember that. But uh, Wally Downs, who's a, a big cute girl fan, was Bradford manager at the time, and my of course, with my family, Wally Downs' brother come with the family, and he's on the pitch cheering. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I, I just remember, it, it was a, a, but back then I didn't realise the rivalry between Brentford and Cuba, it didn't exist. They didn't like us. 
Yeah, but it, it didn't exist. Like, my, one of my relatives is Phil Oldham, who's been assistant manager at Brentford. And with us, when QPR did in the national games, we'd go watch Brentford. It weren't, it weren't like that. But the first time I knew about it was playing at Mill. We played on a Friday night against Brentford. I think it was 99, and they was all at, at the den, and they were standing up singing, stand up if you ate Rangers. And all the players are giving it up, but what's going on there? Look at Angle Clue. But they're not arrivals, Chelsea's arrivals. But it's sort of like where we are, the level. it always used to be Fulham, Rangers didn't like each other. We hated Chelsea, and they were like massive time, we didn't care about anyone. So that, 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 that was it. The, the rivalries have just come in recent years. I think it's. I'm not saying it from that game and the last minute goals and how it's gone about it is the way that we've dropped down, the way that it picks up, that's the rivalry, but yeah, I've got no problem.